Xbox One, Nintendo vs. Let's Players. Why, Mr. Sussler, you're speaking my language. I'm Dave from UltramegaDeathRay.com, here to give you a reassessment. For the benefit of the new subscribers out there, reassessment is basically my response videos to Adam Sessler from Red3 Games for his show Sessler Something. Uh, I don't work for Adam or Revision 3 in any sort of way. This is just me sparking conversation and ruffling some feathers as I tend to enjoy doing. In this episode, we seem to be dealing with a couple of companies that are dangerously close to losing the demographic that's essential to their success, the core gamer. Uh, in the case of Microsoft, their Xbox One event has been considered to be an epic fail in the gaming community, uh, primarily because of all the buzzwords and business jargon that had to do with everything except for games. Now, Adam brought up poor messaging as being the root cause for this frustration, and I can't say I disagree with him there. Uh, specifically, though, I would like to mention Microsoft's boggling choice to focus so much on the TV-centric aspects for the new console. Check it, Brosif. Now you can tell your Xbox you want to watch that fresh new Halo show while Skyping your mom in your underwear. Suck it, Sony! Let me know in the comments if I'm alone on this, but I find myself barely watching much TV. Most folks seem quicker to pull up Netflix than any channel these days. If you ask me, it seems like TV is on a slow and steady decline that could eventually wipe them out entirely in a couple of generations from now. Microsoft is supposedly going very games-heavy during E3. I have to wonder though that with the first impressions from their event, coupled with the rumors they've been so hesitant to shoot down, if that's put them in too deep of a hole to climb out of. I mean, if they hope to get us on board with the Xbox One, not only do they have to wow us with these 15 exclusives they mentioned, uh, but they also have to give some rock-solid clarity on things like the always-online aspect, as well as the used game themes. It's hilarious to me to see Microsoft and Sony switching roles like this since the Xbox 360 and PS3 came out. Uh, much like the PS3, the Xbox One, or the X-Bone as it's so endearingly called, is trying to be this all-in-one, everything-for-everyone type of console. It took a while for Sony to get back into the hearts of gamers, but they seem to be on the right track now with the PS4. Does Microsoft truly believe they can pull off the same game plan better, or are their egos getting a little too bloated? Onto Nintendo and Let's Play videos, it's great to see Adam address this situation, as well as join us in the confusion over what the hell they're thinking. Uh, I'll try not to step on the same beats from my Nintendo's YouTube War video, which you can see here, or in the description below. Uh, so instead, I'm going to answer the question on why people enjoy watching Let's Plays. It's not surprising for me to say that this is a pretty expensive hobby. Buying games at 60 bucks a pop just isn't feasible for a lot of people, especially when you're talking about games that you may be on the fence about. LPs in this case give people a taste as far as what the game is about before deciding whether or not they want to buy it. I can speak from my own personal experience that a Let's Play video actually turned me around on the JRPG title Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, I remember I wasn't all too impressed with the demo for that game when I played it, and watching people playing through the beginning of the game and connecting the dots with where the demo actually begins helped me with my judgment. Let's Plays are also popular because of the people playing them. It would remind me of when I would go over to a friend's house and we would take turns playing video games and making stupid comments and jokes along the way. It's just a unifying experience that brings gamers together from all over the world in an age that makes it possible. Alright, that's all I got for you guys today, but be sure to leave comments on what you think of these topics. Also be sure to like the video, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, this is Dave from UltramegaDeathRay.com. Catch you guys later.